Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Henry Bird and Richard Fenton. This game was played in London in 1891. Henry Bird had white pieces and he started with f4, the birds opening. d5, e3, c5, knight to f3, e6, and now bishop to b5, check. Bishop to d7, bishop takes, bishop check. Bird didn't need the light squared bishop for his plane. Knight takes on d7, b3, knight on g to f6, bishop to b2, bishop to e7, and both players cast at king's side. d3, rook to c8, queen to e1, intending queen to g3 b5, seeking the counterplay on the queen's side, naturally, why to move, a4, only later you will see the importance of this move, a6, knight from b to d2, c4, threatening c3, b takes on c4, b takes on c4, bishop to d4, c takes on d3, c takes on d3, Bishop to b4, pinning the knight, queen to g3, black to move, bishop takes on d2 was played, and this is strategically wrong, let's take it back, bishop to c3, the analysis after the game had shown that trading the dark squared bishops was a better option for black, back to our game, bishop takes on d2, Knight takes on d2, rook to c2. That was the idea. Black wanted to invade the second rank. It looks nice, but the rook is harmless on the second rank. Knight to f3, h6, white to move. How would you continue? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Henry Bird played f5 absolutely the best move. White wants to open the f-file for his rook. This move also disturbs black's pawn structure. Queen to c7, offering to trade queens. Let's take it back. This is the line that Fenton wanted to avoid. Then knight to h4, and after g6, knight takes on g6. Black has knight to h5, but then knight to e7, double check, and after king to h7, queen to d6, and white is standing better. Back to our game. Queen to c7, like I said, offering to trade queens and make the life for his king easier. f takes on e6, f takes on e6. If queen takes on g3, then pawn takes pawn on f7. Check. Zwischenzug. And then pawn takes queen. Back to our game. f takes on e6. Queen to h3, attacking the pawn. Rook to c6. The material is equal, but black has a weak pawn on e6. How to exploit it? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Henry Bird played bishop takes on f6, clearing the square for the knight. Rook takes on f6, knight to d4, rook to b6, a5, taking the squares away from the rook. Rook to d6, rook takes rook on f6, knight takes rook, and white one upon. Knight takes on e6, queen to c3 attacking the rook, rook to f1, queen takes on d3, and the material is equal. Fenton thought that he was doing okay, but he missed. Next move by Bird. Which move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Bird played knight takes pawn on g7, rook to c6. If king takes on g7, then queen to g3 check, and after king to f7, queen takes rook and white wins. Back to our game. Rook to c6 was played. White to move. How would you continue? 
white played a move and black resigned and the move is knight to f5. Fenton resigned. The position is hopeless. If the black king tries to run away, white can take the pawn on h6 or continue this way. Knight to d4 attacking the rook, rook to d6, queen takes pawn on h6 is okay. Perhaps even better is queen to h5 check. And after queen to g6, queen to e5 attacking the rook, rook to d7, queen to e6 check, king to g7, white has more than one way to win, perhaps the simplest way is to remove the defender of the rook on d7. After rook takes on f6, queen takes rook, queen takes on d7 check, king to g6, queen takes on d5, and I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.